yeah so hey there guys in this video i'm gonna like discuss to you guys since the pokemon update video for the sword and shield has just came by i thought that there's gonna be a lot of you that's gonna discuss all the updates about the trailer so i went on to their website to look for more information and there are some new information such as the new galarian slowbro and, and then the legendary birds their typing and also their like signature moves and there is also the names of the two regis that they have just stated so without further ado let's just jumped into like the new like designs and also the new pokemon here in the update that the dlc known as the electric pokemon it's following the trend with the other regis it's only have one type a mono type of electric its height is 3 foot 11 its weight is 319 pounds and its ability is like it's I think it's new and it's unique to this Reggie it's a transistor yeah so now let's read about the description a body without a with a bottomless supply of electricity this Pokemon absorbs electrons to live electrical energy makes up most of its body its electric types moves are said to pack the greatest power of any used by electric type Pokemon oh. So like in this description, they like, give us an imagination like this Reggie is going to be like crazy. Ooh, but the statement next. Strength restrained by special equipment. Researchers have det determined that Reggie Alecki's body is fitted with what appears to be a special insulating equipment that doesn't conduct electricity. Some theorize that in it ancient times people tormented by Reggie Alaki fitted this equipment that Pokemon to restrain its powers so like before in the first statement they hyped us up like, like it's gonna be like crazy powerful but they just toned it down yeah so let's continue and see their signature type I like signature move the thunder cage in this actual special move the Pokemon fire furious bolts of electricity from its lower half, strapping opponents directly below it with a cage of lightning. Thunder Cage doesn't only damage, deal damage to opponents when it lands, it will also cause them to be trapped within an electrified cage, causing damage every turn for 4 to 5 turns and preventing them from fleeing or being swapped out. Yeah, so I think that this attack is very similar to like fire spin wrap whirlpool infestation so it's just like a move that does damage over time like residual damage every turn and it also traps the enemy yeah so now let's continue with the next reggie here we have the dragon reggie dragon dragon reggie dragon it's known as the Dragon Orb Pokemon. It's same as the other Regis Monotype Dragon with a height of 6 foot 11, with a weight of 4 440 pounds. It's the ability Dragon Mouth. Dragon Mouth. I think more is like mouth, like the jaws of a dragon. And yeah, I can't help but to notice that. If you flip like the picture of the Reggie Dragon like sideways, you're gonna like see like a Charizard like skeleton. Yeah, it's a fun fact. Like a dragon, can you see like a Charizard head with a mouth? Yeah. Let's continue and read out the description. A cluster of dragon energy. Regidrago's energy is composed of crystallized dragon energy. The energy is densest in its central core. Thanks to its body composition, 
Stretchy Draco can use Draco type moves with greater power than other Pokemon. Yeah, like the description is very similar to Reggie Alaki. Yeah, see, like the next statement just tone like the dragon down. The sealed Reg Draco. Folklore tells that the legendary Pokemon Regigigas tried to create a Pokemon from crystallized dragon energy but ran out of crystal and was only able to complete the hit. People of old feared that if Regidrago were to be completed, it would draw in destruction on their land, so they sealed it away in within a temple. Yeah, see, like the Pokemon just rolled out and it just becomes the head of a Charizard. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like another Charizard. And then the Regidrago's signature move, Dragon Energy. The Pokemon assumes a shape similar to its dragon head, then fires an intense dragon energy from its mouth. The more energy the user has remaining, the higher the powers move. Yeah, so I think that this attack is very similar to like water spout and eruption. So I think we this attack is gonna be crazy because it's a dragon type move. It's gonna be higher than uh, higher power than outrage, cause when you're at full HP, it's gonna be like I think 150 power. Yeah, so this is gonna be crazy. Yeah, so now let's move on to the next Pokemon, which is the Galarian Slowbro. Here we have the Galarian Slowbro, known as the Hermit Crab Pokemon. Yeah, the typing is gonna be poison slash shy, psychic. It's gonna be a dual type. Yeah, like the design just shouts poison and psychic. The height is gonna be five foot three. The weight is gonna be one hundred and fifty five pounds. The ability is gonna be a draw. So I think it's like maybe I'm just theorizing here. It's gonna be like quick claw where like one once every like every there's a chance that this pokemon is gonna be moved faster i think yeah as you can see like the design actually changes the original slow bro has like the tail the shoulder actually bites the tail while here at the galarian slow bro the cloister like um, the shoulder is biting to its arm like why is now like the arm is very long and like the head like on the top of the yeah i don't know why is it purple yeah now let's read under the description it gained the poison type from the shock of the shoulder spike a shelter bite set of a chemical reaction with spices inside Galarian's slowbox body. Oops, sorry guys, I was saying like slow oh slowpoke. Oh yeah. Causing Shelter Galarian slow bro to gain the poison type. The shelter sometimes unconsciously bite down harder to slow bro's arm, causing an itch that drives slow bro to start swinging its arm around indiscriminately and sm smashing its surrounding. This makes Galarian Slowbro a highly dangerous Pokemon. Yes. I think like the design is really like derpy as like the like the original Slowbro. Like but this one, this like description actually like tells us that the Pokemon is actually suffering. So like it just goes berserk. It just goes berserk because like the shelter is biting off to its hand it actually looks like Mega Man I think like his cannon yeah let's continue beat strong opponent to the draw although this Pokemon is normally zoned out facing off against strong opponents activates the stimulus of its body sending them coursing through its nervous system and delivering a jolt when this happens, low bro expression sharpens with a sh speed that puts up even the quickest reflexes to shame. 
Sobru reddits its shelter and makes poisonous liquid shoot from the shelter's tips. Yeah. I think like this Pokemon stop like the stats is gonna be really high in speed and also in special attack. Yeah. Let's continue. Galarian Slowbro's signature move. Shell Side Arm. Shell Side Arm is a poison type special move in which the Pokemon fires poisonous liquid from the tip of the shelter attached to its arm. The move may poison the target. Moreover, it inflicts either special or physical damage depending on which will damage the target more. Yeah, so like this basically confirms like Galarian Slowbro is gonna be the style is gonna be really high in special attack and like this like attack is gonna be really good because I think it's gonna be like Psy Shock in which like attacks based on the physical of the special defense so like this attack is gonna be really good in the competitive play now let's continue and go to the legendary birds started off with the Galarian article gnome yeah I really like this design and it is known as the cruel Pokemon it is psychic slash flying yeah it's the legendary bird so they're gonna keep the flying type the height is gonna be 5 foot 7 it's gonna weigh 112 pounds the ability is competitive the ability in which it's gonna be raising its special attack if one of their stats is gonna be lowered yeah so like I think this design is superior than the first design like the first design is just like a bird in the cold like now this bird is like it has its personality as like a cool bird but a psychic one yeah I like this design let's read the description a cruel arrogant legendary Pokemon once every several decades this migratory Pokemon appears in the crown tundra for a long time it was thought to be the same legendary bird Pokemon as the Articuno previously discovered in other regions through cold and colorless personality it moves in highly refined man manner it gives itself airborne through constant use of its physic psychic powers i mean almost never flapping its wings its wings freezing psychic power the pokemon battles using intense psychic power that act directly on the cells of living being the beams of psychic energy fired from its eyes have a particularly potent effect the slightest touch of these beams leaves the victim totally immobilized as if frozen the Pokemon finishes off immobilized, immobilized opponents using the condensed psychic power of its wings. Yeah, so I think this Pokemon is gonna be really cool. Let's continue to the signature move. Freezing Glare. Freezing Glare is a psychic type special move in which the Pokemon attacks by firing psychic powers from both eyes. This move may also leave the target frozen. So I think it's basically like Scald, in which Scald is a water type but it may cause a burn and this one is a psychic type that can cause freezing. Ooh, look at the fan art, look at the art man, it's really cool, like, I really like the design. Yeah, now let's continue to the second bird, the Galarian Zapdos. It is known as the strong legs Pokemon. Its typing is gonna be fighting and flying. The height is 5 foot 3. The weight is 128 pounds. The ability is gonna be divine. The ability in which it will raise his physical attack if one of their stats is being lowered. So I think it's gonna be good competitive if there's like. Uh, parting shot or anything that can lower our attack like this new design is also really good I really like 
they changed up like so much from the original Zapdos so origi original Zapdos I'm so sorry I think that this design is gonna be like the superior design yeah so now let's continue to the description a legendary Pokemon that likes battling mighty opponents once uh, yeah it's gonna be the same it, it was thought to be the same legendary Pokemon as Zapdos previously discovered in other regions. This belligerent, battle hungry Pokemon seems unable to resist challenging Pokemon its senses may be stronger than itself. Yes, yeah, so that is really cool concept. Lighting that strikes from stone walls. In battles, this Pokemon overwhelms opponent with speedy movements and ferocious kicks using its naturally mighty legs. When it leaps down cliffs and rocky mountain sides in ultra high speed zigzag movements, it is said to resemble a bolt of lightning. However, its wings seem to be to have atrophied and it appears to be a poor flyer. I think like it's a theme among this new bird Pokemon like their wings is not that good and like they adapt to new things yeah so now let's continue to their signature move thunderous kick in this fighting type physical moves the Pokemon overwhelms the target with lightning like movements before delivering a kick this also lowers the targets defense that like this attack is gonna be crazy so I think this attack is gonna be like fire lash but fighting type like it's gonna be like around that power like base power and like the property is gonna be the same and so I think that this attack like this move is gonna be really good because even if the Pokemon that is fighting it that this Galarian Zapdos is fighting against something that is the fighting move is not very effective it will be it will do good damage because it's gonna be lower the, the lowering their physical defense every time the Zapdos attacks yeah so I think this is gonna be now let's continue to the third bird the Galarian Moltres this Pokemon is known as the Malevolent Pokemon. Its typing is gonna be dark and flying. The height is gonna be 6 foot 7. The weight is 145 pounds. The ability is gonna be Berserk, which I think is the same as Dramba. So I think if the health is low enough, like it's gonna be raising its special attack. Yeah, that's but I think it's gonna be let's read the description so it's same legendary Pokemon as Moltres previously described in other regions it has a haughty personality and conducts itself calmly according to its own whims yeah so I think like from all the Pokemon before like the Galarian, Slowpo, Slowbro Ament yeah they just like very aggressive in which this Moltres is gonna be like calm yeah I think it's a good change of pace an aura like a blazing pillar of fire it exudes the energy churning within its body as an aura skin akin to a column of raging fire living ordinary Pokemon unable to approach it it is especially skilled at attacking opponent's mind by spreading its wing its wings wide and unleashing a wicked aura. Opponents hit by such attack are overcome with deep fatigue as if all their energy had just been turned away. Ooh, that is pretty good art. Galarian Moltres signature move, Fiery Wrath. This third type special move. The Pokemon transform its wrath into fire like aura to attack. It may also make oppo opposing Pokemon flinch. 
yeah so like ooh the art is really cool though so, yeah so I think like this Pokemon is good it's like evil tall but new but fiery yeah I think it's like the new design is like really cool from like these three legendary birds I really like their design their overall designs yeah I think that they are superior that rather than the first like the original designs I don't think that the first design is bad but I think this design is superior in every way like it's really good especially Moltres look at that like their first design is just like a fire chicken now it's like a dark and like crazy demonic like fiery chicken which is cooler much crazy cooler and yeah so I think like this video is gonna uh, I'm gonna wrap this video right here because I think I've explained like the new things like that is gonna be in this update which is, which I'm really excited but I don't actually have a switch so I'm just gonna like wait like switch but yeah I don't know yet yeah so I think I will wrap up this video right here thank you guys so much for watching if you like this kind of video leave a like and share it to anyone you think would like this kind of video and also follow me in my instagram they have the same name and find you can yeah follow me there for like any updates for new videos Bye. Peace.